Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today I'll be showing you guys my foundation routine. Here's an updated video on my foundation. I actually don't know if I've ever created a foundation routine for you guys in the first place. One of my subscribers requested this video, so here it is. But before we get started, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. If you guys like me, give me a thumbs up. Let your friends know, let your grandma know, let everybody and their mamas know. And also follow me on Instagram if um, you guys want to ask any questions. I am pretty active on there and I'll reply quickly. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright guys, so we are starting off with the simple kind to skin moisturizer that has SPF. Now I've been using this SPF lotion for, I don't know how many years, I'm going to say three or four years. It's very simple, there's not much ingredients in there. Um, a lot of chemicals are organic and I feel like this has been working well with my skin, so why stop, right? So I'm placing that under my foundation first. We're going to moisturize our face. I hate dry patches, so always, always, always make sure you have a moisturized face. Now, I am taking a primer. Now, this primer I, I've had for so long, I have no idea what brand this is because the brand came off of the, the little tube. So you can use any primer that you want, but I definitely prefer having a primer because it leaves a very smooth surface and covers your pores. Now I'm going in with two different shades of L'Oreal True Match W3 and W4 Natural Beige. Because it is summertime, these two colors help me balance out the right um, color that I need. I also have one that is W2.5, which I use for the summer. And when I mix it with my W3, it kind of makes like this transition into summertime a little bit easier, but right now I'm using the darkest shades that I have. Right here, we are placing the foundation in little spots. I definitely want to cover around the nose where the redness peeks through the most. And I'm taking a kabuki brush and blending this out. At one point, I used Fenty foundation. I thought it was really good, but Fenty for me just oxidizes a bit too much. And it's like a pain in the butt to find the right shade. Even though she has so many shades, I'm yellow tone. So it's still hard to find a perfect tone for Fenty. I know somebody asked me about that a couple of video videos ago. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. concealer. I'm placing this in the inner corner of my eyes. And on the outer corner where it is the darkest. This is in light beige, and I'm going to blend this out. Now, a little bit of this goes a long way, and I like to blend this only in this area. I try my best not to drag it down. Sometimes I do end up dragging it down anyways when I'm not really focused, but I just want to keep this in the dark circle area. Now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. If you guys haven't seen my video and review and demo on this product, check it out. I talk about all about this product right here. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit in the inner corner of eyes and just blend out where it is the darkest. I needed some extra coverage, you know. <laughs> my money bags are showing through. Who else has money bags? Leave Leave your name below. Let me know what you work so hard for that makes you have money bags. All right, so now I'm taking my Stay Matte 001 Transparent Powder. I always, always powder my face to make sure everything is set and still and firm and cemented and not budging even if you start balling at work from a hard day. And that is it for my foundation video, you guys. It's very simple, really quick and to the point put the rest of my face on and I'll be right back. So that is all for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this routine. I hope it helped. Let me know what you guys use for your foundation. Um, I'm always up to using or figuring out new foundation. Um, I've heard of this one called Il Ilimage. Ilimage. It keeps popping up on these monsters on Instagram. So let me know if you guys tried that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!